welcome. My name is Pastor Ann Christensen, and this is our Blue Christmas service. This service is designed to help us acknowledge our feelings of loss, give us time to lament, and then find comfort in our Lord. In the midst of festivities and bright lights, we may feel alone and blue. Many of us have lost dear loved ones who we wish were here. Others mourn disrupted relationships, job losses, illnesses that take their toll, and just the fact that life is not how we desire it to be. You will need four candles for this service, one symbolizing grief, the next courage, the next memories, and the final candle for love. Let us now begin with prayer. Come God of power and light, help me. Come God of peace and hope, hear my cries. Lord, hear me and come to me and bring me peace. Amen. Let us now enjoy the hymn, Comfort, Comfort, Now My People. Join me in prayer. God of love and understanding, I come before you to confront my pain. In the midst of the world's celebration, help me to know that you are present with me in all my moods and feelings and seasons. Grant me a taste of the hope, peace, joy, and love that you promise to all your people through the gift of your Son, Jesus. Amen. You are a precious child of God. When life's burdens weigh on you, God is there to help carry your burdens and comfort you. God watches over you day and night. God promises that one day your mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For God will make all things new. Hear these words from Scripture. The first reading comes from Isaiah, the 43rd chapter. But now, thus says the Lord God, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. 
you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. The second reading comes from Matthew, the 11th chapter. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Psalm 121. I will lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from God who made heaven and earth. God will not suffer your foot to be moved. The one who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, the one who keeps Israel shall not slumber or sleep. The Holy One is your keeper. The Holy One is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not hurt you by day, nor the moon by night. Our God shall preserve you from all evil and shall preserve your soul. Our God shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. The next reading comes from Revelation, the 21st chapter. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. And he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit those things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. That first Christmas, was no picnic either. My favorite decoration is this figurine of Joseph and a very pregnant Mary heading toward Bethlehem. Having had children myself, I know what it feels like to be heavily pregnant. That trip must have been very uncomfortable. And when they got to Bethlehem, there was no room in the inn. Mary gave birth far from home in a stable with only a manger for her son's bed. But in that cradle lay all the hopes and dreams of all the years. Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah, had come. Jesus had come to redeem us, renew us, and reshape us into God's forgiven children. He came to wipe away the tears from our eyes and comfort us in his arms of love. Light your first candle. This candle represents grief. It is lit to remember those whom we have loved and lost. Pause to remember your loved one's face, their voice, and the memories that bind you together. Own the pain of losing them, the hopes and dreams unfulfilled. At the end of your contemplation, pray. May God's eternal love surround them. Amen. 
light your second candle. As you light this candle, know that it represents courage. It symbolizes the courage to confront your sorrow and to comfort others, to share feelings openly and honestly, and dare to hope in the midst of pain. End your reflection with this prayer. Refresh, restore, and renew me, O God, and lead me into your future. Amen. Light your third candle. This candle represents memories. For the times you laughed or cried, got angry or felt joy, this candle is lit to redeem the pain of loss. End your reflection by gathering up the pain and offering it to God, asking that you might receive from God's hands the gift of peace. End your reflection with the words, the dawn of a new day defeats darkness. Light your fourth candle. The fourth candle represents love, the love you have given and the love you have received, the love that has gone unacknowledged and unfelt, and the love that has been shared in times of joy or sorrow. This candle is lit to remember faith and the gift of hope which Christ brings. End your reflection with the words, remember the one who shows the way, who brings the truth and bears the light.
Let us now end in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for reminding me that you are always in the center of my life. You hear my cries, you know my heart. In the midst of all my thoughts and emotions, you offer hope and healing. Thank you for wrapping me in your comforting presence. Help me to find your light, a light that will guide me day by day, step by step as I try to live fully and wholly. In your mercy, comfort me, encourage me, empower me. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never put it out. Receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>